Hi guys, I'm Paul the Toy Scavenger. Thank you for viewing my video. So in this particular video, I wanted to show you how hard it actually is at a car boot sale to find something. You've got to be there right place, right time, and if you're not, you're going to walk away with nothing. So let's jump right in and we'll go straight to that car boot. See you in a bit. Now some people call them car boot sales, some people call them car fairs, or boot, boot fairs, or car boot sale fairs. I just say car boot sales. They're like um, a flea market in America as well. It's where people just come and they open up their car boot and sell from the back. So at this car boot sale, I had an early bird, which means I get in an hour early. It's more expensive. Hopefully it will pay off. Let's see how I do. So this first door is a regular. They only really have modern bits. They say they have retro, but it's never really anything good. And their prices are really high. So I'm gonna move on quick. So I've spotted my first find. It's a vintage O'Penny milk float. It is boxed, so I've just got to grab it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. So that find was actually from Teeny Tiny Toy Team, who you can find on Instagram and YouTube. Go check them out. Now I know it's early, but sometimes you can tell it's not gonna be your day, but I am not giving up. So far, not too many items, but I'm still hopeful. Gotta keep going. Do you want any more Power Ranger stuff coming out, or is it just that? That's oh, just trans old Transformer. Right? Yeah, you got any more bits, or is it just, just that um, bit? I don't know, I don't know. I can, I can, I can, sure. I can I'll come play. back. Yeah, yeah I'll come back. Oh, Cheers, man. <laughs> so I come to this stall, and finally I see something worth picking up. It's a bunch of Marvel and DC figures. Let's see how I do. Three on these ones, five on that one. It's in the bag. Three on these ones, so three, six. Six on them. Do it for five up? Yeah, go on then. Cheers. Cheers. The Doctor Doom figure has no rub on the front and the Batman has his original paint. Now with these figures, I'm not buying them to sell, I'm buying these ones to keep. If I was buying to sell, they're a little bit too pricey, they're quite common, but these two are mint, so I don't mind paying up. We've got Ken from Back to Toys. Morning. I have it late when I'm leaving. Not much about today so far. Got the guts? It's good. Um, got Kevin, Kevin. London, Kevin? London toy shop. He ain't got nothing yet, I don't think. And that one could be uh, well, good. And vinyl. And vinyl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Need to get a... Yeah, not too bad. Not much here today. Oh, yeah. Nice. 
Now I'm happy with what I've got, but what I'm hearing is people are not finding too much. So it's now a case of just wandering around and seeing what I can find. So I'm about to give up, but I run into Ken, so we take a look back at the front and we find a stall full of toys. I don't know how much they go for those ones. Rambo, that's good. Uh, Rocky, sorry. Good one. Oh, my favourite. I always love a part of accessories is you never know what you're going to find. And as we know, the accessories are the key to anything. Yeah. How much are the stars? Yeah. 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 So I found a turtle accessory. It means there could be more. So I can And success, I found another one. Now there's some crash dummies in here, some gladiators, and some other random little vintage bits, but I don't need them. I'm after the turtles. I need these myself. Oh, no. <laughs> Why not? Those two? Yeah. Just 50 each? No, both. Both, 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 yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, no Just problem. Some yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Yeah, finished. I mean, that's, I know what that is, but I've got that. I know, but I didn't want to throw it away. No, no never throw these away. These are the, these are the gold. You know, this is what people need for their collections. I'll do those. Wow. So people were finally getting their items out for sale and I stumble across this stall again. So that penguin's been playing in my mind because I didn't check to see if he was Kenner or Toy Biz. Rookie mistake. The Kenner's more expensive. Let's see what he is. Those are things. 
They're too much though, aren't they? Yeah, I've seen them, yeah. I've got loads of them. I've got the Doctor Doom for myself. I've just put them down, haven't I? Yeah. <laughs> they're too much. If they were, yeah. if they were too good, I would have bought them all. I've got two of them, but 250. That, that extra pound is just... Too much to... Yeah, it's just that little bit. So I felt that that broken Hulk Hogan summed up my entire morning, so I think it's about time to leave. It was about 10 minutes before the general admission started. I'm happy with what I found. That Dr. Tomb is the chef's kiss, and I'm happy with that. But on my way home, I decided to stop off at another Sneaky Boots out. So we're going to a completely different car pizza. Let's see how this one goes. I'm so ready. Good morning. Morning. Okay, now wait for it. They're going all night for 85 quid. I'm selling it for 20. Oh, Absolute classic line at a boot sale. It's gonna go on eBay for 100. Gonna sell it for 10. Okay. You got the charger, man? Charger, that's just how you come out of the house. Chargers are about to show me Oh, bloody hell. Yeah. 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 Oh, there's some comics. I don't usually buy them, but if they're cheap enough, I will. Right, these are all pennies. How much are the comics? Uh, £4. What? what did she say? So, how much are the comics? £4. Each? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Uh, now, there may have been some classics in there that I don't know, but at a car boot sale, that is too much. I will check on that. Now I've got that feeling that this one is going to go the same as the one before. So I'll bump into Ken from Back to the Toys again. Look who we found. Not going to another one. <laughs> I'm not. I won't. Is it here? Oh, no. Nah. So after seeing those buzzies in that kind of condition, I'm off, I give it a rest, going back to get myself some lunch. So as you can see, it's not always Star Wars and He-Man at car boot sales, you can find those hidden gems if you put the effort in, but it's usually a case of right place, right time. What you do is you'll see people post their finds up on social media and it will make you think that they're finding gold, but in reality, most of us aren't. 
And with all the other resellers and toy dealers out there, it is getting very, very hard. And consistency is key. So that's the end of the video. Did you see anything I should have picked up? Did you see something that you would have picked up? Leave me a comment, remember to subscribe, and remember to like this video. So I've been Paul the Toy Scavenger. Remember you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube, all at Toy Scavenger. And you can buy the toys at thetoyscavenger.com. Thanks for viewing, I'll see you soon.